Hey guys, what's up? It's the wheel, man. I'm still in the DR at my favorite car motto. Hang it out in Las Castillo, 10 minutes from Sasua. Guys, I'm waiting for a girl I've never met before. <laughs> you know, I love the random shit. This is random as it gets, man. Uh, she, I was supposed to meet her about four months ago. We're supposed to go to the gym. She's working, I'm busy, blah, blah, blah. Never ever happened. Anyway, this girl's full of tattoos. Uh, her hair is pink or green or blue or she's a wild one uh, so I'm meeting her randomly and we're going to a place it's Semana Santa by the way which is Easter which is one of the craziest holiday three or four day stretches here in the Dominican Republic everybody goes crazy so I meet my boy Greg I'm waiting for this girl and we are going to a place called Santa Fe which is a high end Place past the sewer, seven or eight pools, ocean view, cabanas, beds, food, drinks. It's gonna be a good day, and I'm taking you with me as always. So I'm waiting for this girl. They're always late. If anyone knows, Dominican girls are always late, like crazy late, um, which is hard to handle. But you're with me, vamos. Waiting on these girls, man. All right, guys, just a ride to Santa Fe. Solo. These chicks, man. Like, she wrote me first thing in the morning. Okay, when are we going? I'm so excited. And then she said she'd meet me at the Calmado. This is what these Dominican chicks do, man. They do not care about your time. So I'm waiting. Then, then I finally write her. And she's like, I can't get wet. Now, fair enough. It's an overcast day. It's not the best day to be here. And she has uh, pink hair. Hola, amigo. Santa Hola. Fe. Whoa, que camera. Que hey, see, see. Si, si. So, uh, in trance over here? Yeah. yeah. Go. So, anyway, she has, uh, she got the pink hair and she can't get it wet. And... Yeah, yeah, no, I'm good. Muy bueno. Okay, so uh, I told her to fuck off, which I shouldn't have. That was rude. Uh, but I, I don't like, they waste your time here. Like, they don't care about your time. A lot of times, not everyone. Anyway, I'm going in solo. I'm going in cold. I might write her back and tell her, like, she gets here in a taxi. I don't know. I felt bad for saying f off. But I was waiting 20 minutes. She doesn't, they don't tell you this. Anyway, all right. Let's go check out Santa Fe. Gregario. <laughs> Back we got a king size bed. <laughs> uh, so, like I said, guys, uh, my girl flaked on me, uh, and I felt a little bit bad actually by telling her to go fuck off. <laughs> so I just wrote her again and said, "Look, if if you feel like coming in a taxi, come on down." So she might be here. Greg has a friend that he's known for a little while. She's going to join us. But guys, this is the place. It's absolutely beautiful. I'll show you more as we get going, but uh, it's 3,500 pesos, but you get uh, you get a card uh, where you can spend 3,500 pesos worth of food and drink. And I didn't know that. So that's a bonus. Uh, so yeah, let's, I'm either gonna be here cold, single and mingling, or I'm gonna have, be a third wheel. <laughs> Because it's a lot of families here so far. It's a lot of families and kids. And uh... anyway, let's see how this goes. All right, got a margarita. Gosh, yeah, man. Listen, still early. Picked the worst day to come here, but we said we had a plan for Saturday. But it's overcast and it's kind of chilly. Like it's not hot sun, but uh, it's a. Uh, it's uh, so far so good. The drinks are spot on. So look, first uh, first meal here, shrimp tacos. What's that, Greg? Shrimp cocktail? Yeah. Got some shrimp cocktail. We got Francia. Francia in the house. Hola, uh, Gregorio. So guys, 
guys, uh, we ordered a round of drinks. We got this food. Like I said, you get that 3,500 peso credit. Plus 3,500 pesos, uh, 70 bucks. $70 US. Right, so that gets you your entry and uh, a credit for that month. Okay, guys, so yeah, let me show you some more. Santa Fe. Man, it's a spot, you know? I didn't know this was in Sasua. It's on the outskirts of Sasua. But check this out. So you got the infinity. This is supposed to be really deep too. You ain't touching the bottom here. But you got the infinity pool right on the water. Again, just so happened to be a shitty day to be here. Not a shitty day, but it's it ain't blazing sun, you know what I'm saying? So you got all of this. Definitely a place, man, to come. Like I said, man, the 3500 that's on weekends or a holiday. So $60, $70. But then you get to spend that in booze and food. So, not that they're a little overpriced, but you, you can get a time here, man. So, it ain't so bad. And there's a pool up top there. There's all sorts of different areas there. I'm happy. Yeah, it's kicking more in the gear. Guys, so I'm gonna show you just the other part here of Santa Fe. Drinks are, the drinks are good, man. The drinks are good too. They're uh, they're not weak. So a lot of families. It's a spot, man. It's a good place. Definitely recommend so far, man. It's too bad that girl flaked on me. But she was right actually, it's misty, it's uh, her pink hair would be running down her face. <laughs> uh, but look. Music's pumping, everybody's drinking, everybody's chilling. Real here, I'll throw a wheel, but I am the wheel and I don't care. 
family, guys. Uh, as I always say in all my videos, there's somewhere to go at all times. I'm trying sushi. Yeah, this place is happening, man. It's all good. Like, look, the food is good. 100% recommending this place right now. Still on a margaritas. An A and wheat. A and wheat. Santa Fe, the sewer. All right, guys, left Santa Fe. Uh, just got to Tsusua, Tsusua Beach. I don't know, man, it's like 6, 6 p.m. I've never seen more traffic in my life than what's going on in this town here now. Semana Santa, it's like the biggest holiday on the go for these people. So we're gonna go check out Tsusua Beach. Greg's supposed to be joining me here now. He's uh, getting his friend in a taxi. And, uh, yeah, we're going to see what's going on down here. One thing they say about this weekend, guys, it's, it's not the weekend to be on the roads. Uh, after Good Friday, like, I mean, 12.01. Anyone who's sensible will tell you, do not be on the roads here for these next two or three days. Because they party for two or three days. So yeah, we're getting on to the beach here now about six o'clock. Uh, so we'll see. But there's still lots of people. All right, on my Sasua Beach. Uh, yeah, so it's... 6.30 now and things are kind of winding down. A lot of police, a lot of action going on here, a lot of lifeguards. I think there was some action going on out at sea. So I came to my place here to have a beer. I'm waiting on Greg. I've never seen more traffic into sewer in my life. So it's all good. It's all good. We're going to see what happens here. I had to go back, get Luna. Mucho policia. This weekend, so there. If you're fucking around, they're gonna grab you. What is that? It's a camera, bro. Oh, they got a gringo, man. They got a gringo. What kind of camera is that? Oh, it is too. Look, 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 look. Watch. So that's the guy. That's the swimmer. That's the guy who's swimming. So this guy has been swimming for like four hours out there. Look. There was like 40 lifeguards here. They called in a bunch of. Look, look. I think you should be allowed to swim, I don't know, but supposedly they called in all the security and all that. Yeah, yeah, nice to meet you, bro. He's got to be fine. That's a swimmer. That's a drug deal. That's the guy they said it was out swimming for four hours. That guy? Yeah. That's a drug deal, man. That's a drug deal, That dude just said he's the swimmer. That's a setup, man. That's a setup. We got about 10 police on this guy here right now. This weekend, the police are times 20 that I've ever seen. Uh, Charlina, 
Charlina. Because the problem. But was he the swimmer? Not to swim. He go to swim. That's why the problem. He don't do nothing bad. Yeah. So supposedly this guy was out swimming for like four or five hours and they called in lifeguards and now the police got him. Just that was a swimmer? I think so, just for swimming. Wow. Man, there's 20 police on this dude right now. Hola, 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 oh, the middle finger. I want to get closer to film, but then I'll be in that truck too. You think? Yeah, I'll be in Bro, I'll be in that truck too. So supposedly, like I said, this guy has been out swimming for four or five hours. And when I got here, there was 25 lifeguards on the beach. I guess you gotta call in all the services. There was and then he's actually kind of like saving his ass. He gets in the car and blocks So him. that is the swimmer, are you sure? Yeah. That, that Manny's the owner right here, and he knows him, I guess, and he's blocking, uh, blocking his entry into the into the uh, truck. Why can't you swim? Like, why why can't you swim? Was, was there rip tides today, or is the beach is closed, or yeah. what? Uh, he's gone. He's gonna go in. Yeah, I, I was gonna say they're not gonna back down. Manny wound in too. Wow. Manny's going in too. They're throwing him to jail. Manny's gonna go to jail too? That's wow, the, the owner of the bar who was defending him. They don't fuck around, guys. What's the moral of the story? Don't swim on the beach. Don't swim for four or five hours. I don't know, like, you could be a professional swimmer. Bro's gone, man. Bro's gone to jail. You don't want to be in a Dominican jail either. What do you think, Greg? It's going to be very expensive to get out, man. Very expensive. He was just out swimming. He was just out. I'm trying to hide the camera here now from the police. I don't, I don't want to be in that jail with dude. They moved very quickly. Oh guys, there's, there's 25, 30 cops. They were waiting. They got machine guns there. They've been waiting for that guy to like come they up were. to the They were. They've table. all been waiting here, man. Wow. When I got here, there was 25 lifeguards, bro. They probably had one guy calling in to hey, this guy's finally at one shore. Dude was out swimming for four or five hours. I don't know. He's probably professional. If that was Ken Phelps, like, is that okay? If the beach is closed, the beach is closed, man. Is that what it was? I guess so. I guess it's dangerous today. I did hear a yellow flag. So the moral of the story is, guys, don't. If there's yellow flag, don't be out swimming. Don't break the rules, man. Back at Smiley's right now. Gregory, how's your night? One, man. Always one in Sasua, man. It's a good day, man. It's a good day. It's a good day. So... In that place got smileys right now on Pedro Posante. You having a good time? Oh, always, man. Always a great time.
Greg just got in a cab. He's on the way back to the POP. I came down to a place that I featured in one of my past videos, like a secret place you might not know. So this is the dude. Hola, what's your name, amigo? What's your nombre? Okay. I say muy bueno. Muy, muy bueno hamburgers here. So this is the guy. Uh, 100 pesos, guys. You come on down, Pedro Cusante. I mean, like, we write. That's the intersection here, so we write in the action. All right, guys, here you go. I don't know if you can see too much there now, but shouldn't talk with my mouth full. Anyway, guys, man, just look, 100 pesos burger, late at night. Right in the middle of all the action, guys, you can't go wrong. So, anyway, guys, just gonna wrap up another video. Long day. Hope you enjoyed it. Until the next one, I love you. Cheers. Peace out.